So let's have a listen. Okay, so that's the vibe. That's the vibe. I'm sure you love it. I'm sure you love it. So um, let's then um, <clears throat> let's get to get the story of how I made this and how you can also make something like this too um, from any dough uh, that you're using. I'm using a first studio. Yeah. So uh, basically, most of the time I start my beats with the melodic part, the chords. Yeah. So this time. Um, I used a stock FL Studio uh, sound um, for the chords, and this is a soft uh, jazz guitar uh, chord. Yeah, that's basically the pattern. Yeah, it is just a chord progression, but I did some strumming i did strum let me show how to do how to strum so basically these were um right this way if you want to strum you just control uh, you just um a click alt s yeah and then you play with these knobs here yeah so that you get a vibe like that yeah or you can do it manually um like you see yeah they just did it manually yeah so you get that sound like a a guitar being strum get a very soft uh, mellow sound so this is from um this is a stock fl studio sound from fl studio parks uh go to parks instruments guitar this is the, the sound I used, eh? This is a jazz guitar. Let me just load this so I can also have a listen. Yeah. Okay, I'm loading that to a different channel. Yeah. So this is the sound. You can just have a rough preview of the sound. So I used uh, some effects to make the sound better. Let me... Um, played without the effects yeah so let me delete that eh? so when we come to the effects uh, I used on this one I, I just did an EQ definitely to chop off some of the lows yeah this is the channel on the master that I did the effects on this guitar and then I used uh, reverb this is my favorite reverb plugin will Valhalla yeah just played with some uh, some of the knobs and mixed at 15 yeah whatever uh, can make that can make um, your sound feel good and then I did a vintage chorus. This is a stock plugin that comes with the Fell Studio. I just uh, hover through the presets until I found uh, the one that uh, worked for me. And then another, uh, this is an EQ, but uh, I used it to filter uh, automation. This is a filter automation. Let me show you what this last EQ did. It is just. Um, um something i did i uh, did an automation to at least create different versions in um as the song um continues or 
goes on uh, from changes from one step to another. So with this effects, this is uh, an automation that did. So you can did you can you can listen to uh, you can see the or you can hear the the effect that um, the automation is bringing in. So that's basically it. So that is uh, what I did on the guitar. And then I definitely, this is a, uh, <coughs> sorry, this is a, 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 an instrumental a beat that has lots of feelings, as most of my beats are. So I used strings to emphasize on the, um, the part of uh, uh, giving out the emotion, uh, the emotional part. Um, so this is how the strings um, sound. Yeah, just a very simple chord progression, but sweet. So the effects I did on that, uh, I did a vintage chorus, uh, EQ, yeah, stereo enhancer, strings have to be wide so that you can, it also helps to balance the sound, spray the emotion, you know. Yeah, I did some EQ, some reverbs here and there, yeah. So without the effect, this is our sound. With all the effects, this is how the string sound. Yeah, sweet. Strings with the guitar. Sweet. It was as simple as that. Then we go to the other instrument I used here. Yeah, I used a plaque. This is a kalimba, and definitely this is also a stock plugin from. Um, this is harmless. I say this is the light version of a plugin called Hammer. Let me load Hammer here. Yeah, this is, yeah, the full version of Harmless. It has almost the same, same presets, but uh, this is a little bit um, for those sound designers. Uh, they understand what I mean. It has lots of knobs to control the sound. Yeah. So I used um, uh, this is a plaque from uh, when you go to plaques, it's Kalimba, this one. <coughs> Sorry. Then I I just um, copied the progression, some parts, just is an enhancement. This is an enhancement of the progression. So this is how they sound. Yeah. Same strumming that I did. Yeah. So um, I did some effects definitely. Yeah, just a reverb and um, chopped off the lows. Yeah. So together, this is the sound. So um, let's go to the other instrument that I used here. Uh, these are still kalimba plaques, the plaques, just simple plaques following the chord progression. Yeah. African instruments, you know. Yeah. So this, uh, I used this uh, plaque from Expand. Uh, it is called Benin. So from mallets, um, is it mallets? Yeah, mallets. Then you go to Benin. Yeah, this that sound, eh? sounds of Benin, West Africa. Yeah. So I layered it with uh, this is same same kalimba that I used. Um, that I just uh, I've just uh, played, uh, and I just layered it with this um, uh, plaque from Benin. So this is a kalimba. So together this is how they sound when they are layered. Yeah, and then I just did some EQ, 
small EQ. Yeah, that is how we sound. And is there any other sound that I use here? Uh, let's go to the chorus. This one. Yeah, that is a bell from expand. Uh, when you go to bells, you are going to bells uh, X mass support. Yeah, so something that just following the progression when you play together all those instruments this is how they sound. few instruments lots of space for the vocal the artist yeah they say few is more less is more so uh, most of my beats as you understand I um, I'm that guy who likes playing with vocals my beats have to speak or sing even before the vocalist uh, sings so these are small sounds you can uh incorporate your sound they can play in the background with some reverb you know they just enhance the beat they give the emotion they create the ambience the atmosphere yeah the feeling the emotion yeah so it's a vocal chop that i uh exported from arcade Sounds good. So let me so uh, uh, let me um, not solo. Let me unsolo this and let's play together all this sound and how you're going to uh, to to hear uh, the effect that this small sound uh, uh, brings into the whole sound. Hope you can you can listen to it. It's in the background, but. It evokes some emotions. Yeah, and then let's go to the intro. There's also another sound here. This is a vocal chop. Yeah, I, I got this from one of the sample packs that I have. Yeah, this is a free sample pack. Uh, let's listen to this vocal. This, eh? Yeah, this is a vocal chop that I put a lot of reverb yeah lots of reverb uh, lots of decay pre-delay mm, eq definitely another eq here yeah so the intro with that vocal is our sound sweet eh? um, there is also another vocal chop here it's the same vocal chop but I uh, just did another different segment yeah yeah same vocal chop yeah, and uh, it adds something to the beat. I'm sure you can hear, you can feel it. Yeah, so basically that is uh, all that melodic part of this beat. So um, let's go to the drums. And my drums are just the simplest thing that I did here. Just a rim shot and a kick and some my hats. And I was done with an 808. Yeah, that's a simple rim. Mm, just a simple, a simple rim, and then I layer it with another rim. It's another rim. And a hi hat. Yeah. The high hat. Yeah, 
basically that is the percussive part of my beat and when i add the kick nothing else that is my drum and i have nothing else here my drum apart from the bass i use an 808 here Just a simple pattern. Hmm. Yeah, so that's it. That's it. So together, this is how the drums or the groove of the beat sounds. Eh? Remember, the tempo is just 100 Afrobeat style. And a little swing here uh, of 26 so that the beach can have that bounce, you know. Yeah. Awesome. Let's open these sounds. Mm. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. that's the vibe that's the vibe so i have nothing else here that i used on these beats apart from the my uh, the effects the impacts uh, these ones the my, rolls. Track. Uh, my tag definitely yeah so that is it impacts roll some extra effects here the transitions yeah another F impact that's a reverse shaker and anything else nothing so basically that's the beat no uh, exaggerated instrumentation just few instruments clean sound lots of space for the vocals for the artist yeah so let's have a listen to this beat and um uh if you're new i i would urge you to subscribe because i will dropping i'll be dropping this uh uh this uh type of tutorials and soon i'll be um tomorrow god willing i'll be dropping something um we are going to make a beat from scratch yeah so you are going to see the steps i do yeah so subscribe um make sure you follow up with me yeah anytime i drop something you get a notification you'll be the first one to to watch yeah so let's have a listen to this vibe mm -hmm. 